everyone, it's the start of October. You have barely a couple of months left before all of the applications for a master's in CS are going to come due. In this video, let's talk about the timeline and what prep you need to do in the next few months to make it to your dream university for a master's in computer science. Most master's in CS applications can be divided into two sort of time frames. One that are due before the 1st of January and then a second set of institutions that have slightly delayed deadlines up to Feb 15th or in some cases March 15th as well. The first set of institutions that you should be worrying about are MIT, University of Pennsylvania, Carnegie Mellon, my alma mater, UIUC and NYU. These are places that have a November 29th to a December 31st sort of a deadline and these are the ones that you should be gearing up for now. In terms of the timeline, here are all of the things that you should have already done and here is a clean little timeline for you of things that you need to do in the next two months. Like I said, we are in October. Let's assume the 1st of October. You have the entire month of October to do two specific things. One, to identify the right set of institutions for you to apply to, and two, to at least get advanced drafts of the statement of purpose, the letters of recommendations that you, your professors or external recommenders are gonna be uploading, and make sure to finish the resume. Take the entire month of October to accomplish these three things and then in November you can start to apply online. Applying online is as easy as filling out a bunch of information on the form, making sure your personal information, your academic information, your professional information and the writing stuff including the SOPs and other essays etc are all set up and put in place. This is a crisp two month timeline for you to hit that November 29th CMU deadline or hit that December 1st University of Pennsylvania deadline. There is a second set of institutions that will have their deadlines slightly relaxed or later on in the months of January, February and maybe even March. For those universities, the goal should be to get in with proper amount of research on faculty that's doing the right kind of research that you would want to get into on courses that you would want to take up while you're at the university. What else is happening around that region that will enable you to do your best work, either internships, opportunities within campus, outside of campus, or maybe even full-time jobs and other opportunities after you graduate. Do all of this research in the months of December to successfully complete and upload those applications by January or February. By the way, I am bringing in folks that have done their MS and CS from some of the best universities across the world for a webinar that addresses not just the timeline, but also which specializations to take as part of the master's degree in computer science. And most important questions, what does the job scene look like after I graduate? I'm doing this on the 12th of October with a panel from some of the best places you can think of. Georgia Tech, Carnegie Mellon, USC, UIUC, you name it and they will be there. That was a short timeline of the things that you need to do in the next couple of months to one, set yourself apart, to two, make sure that you submit all of your applications high quality and in time, and three, to make sure to get your best possible admit. If you want to get personalized guidance from me, from Sreekar, who's my co-founder, or anyone else from my team for your particular application, make sure to schedule a free consultation call with us at gradvine.com. We've helped thousands of folks get into the top 10, top 20 institutions all across the world for MS and CS. And if I may say so, we are the certified experts at getting you in. I will hope to see you on both the webinar that I'm doing soon and also on a free consultation call. Till then, take care. And as my marketing folks keep telling me, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all of the fancy things that you do on social media today. Thank you so much. Take care. If you watched this video until this point, I'm sure you liked it. Why don't you subscribe?